So, one, two, three, go on. Ooh. There it is, four. <laughs> Very good. And five, electric on the bottom, psychic on top. All right, my next gripe is that, um, why do men get day of the week underwear, but women don't? I don't, is that? Again, we're missing out on the fun stuff. It's so not fair. <laughs> do you, wait, do you, I thought that was always just a thing that you had to do yourself. No. No, they, they sell, they sell Day it? of the Week underwear. They There's sell them on the waistband. It's like in every store I just thought ever. people sew in the waistband. Post. What? Yeah. God, no. Um, we're not done. I also didn't know that there were socks that said left and right. And I am of the opinion, as someone, because I did ballet for years. Um, and I did a point for a long time. And I used to swap the feet of my point shoes, or Jinx EX, um, which a lot of people don't like. I feel like ballerinas and ballet dancers have, they all have their own superstitions, their things that they religiously do or don't do. It's just like part of the process. And for most people, that means you have to have them on the right foot. Um, and like half of the time I did that and I would write like left and right in them to make sure that when I was doing important things, it was fine. But if I couldn't get point shoes in time for something, we have a Blastoise EX in the secret aria. Um, Cause you break them in in a certain way and it's a whole process. I would swap feet because then you just get to break in like the other half of the shoe. Um, the kind of thing you probably shouldn't do, but when you're in a time crunch and it's a couple of weeks before you can go get new point shoes, like, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, socks, I feel like, again, they would last longer if you swapped the feet, because then you're not, like, wearing through the same part of the sock on the same foot. So, like, why would you have left and right socks? I feel like the only socks that are worth keeping on particular feet are the ones that like say something on the bottom. Like the ones that say like, bring me wine. Like, or like, if you can see this, bring me wine. Um, I had someone got on clearance once that said like, it was like one said hotter and the other said then hell. I'm still not quite sure why I owned those, but I did. <laughs> Paper pair of shoes, a platform heels. Oh, platform heels hit differently. It's so good. Ballet shoes reach the end of their life span so quickly, literally. It's like the better you are at dancing, um, or like the stronger your feet are, the faster your shoes wear through. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. Can you imagine if we had an undie, you had like a, one pair of undies for every day of the year, and they all like said the, the date on them? I'm so Nine tails EX. Like, oh. but then your like 29th of February ones always like lasted way longer because you only got to wear them like once every four years. <laughs> you text on sex other than the size shouldn't exist. You're so boring. Why? I. Why? Uh, it's fun. <laughs> Are we not allowed to have fun? Read my answer for the undies. I can't, it's gone past. Hold on. I can't it's, see it it's, now. <laughs> it's that one, I think. You think about the Roman Empire so much, we forget what day it is. Yeah, but like, you have to know what day the undies are. <laughs> yeah, right. You, who made fun of your undies slash socks? I do like that the opinion is held because it was the opposite and he got ridiculed so hard. That's awful. Or oh, Caterpie, secret RF. Different sized socks? I mean, I'm sure I own socks of different sizes, but that doesn't, like, that doesn't get into why I choose to wear them on certain I, days. I'm like, I, I tend to just pick socks based on what I'm doing or what shoes I'm wearing. I'm learning so much more about our audience. <laughs> Us girls? I mean, I know plenty of guys that have heaps of shoes as well. Venus or Ux. Our guys and NB friends. Six musical last year and they said six and six. That is the best thing I've ever heard. Oh my God. I want six and six. <laughs> what purpose does having the size print of them actually serve? I mean, I think it's mostly for when 
you're in a house with a family and people have different size socks that look very similar. I mean, also for buying them. Like just, yeah, just, absolutely. Just, when you're just buying them in, in or um, when they're sorting them in the factory as well, if things get mixed up, I guess. Um, Charizard, oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hate so Oh my god. First, we're hating colored socks and riding on socks, and now you just hate socks altogether? <laughs> what? What? I mean, socks aren't the fun part of me. They just make my life a little bit more fun. It's just one of the many parts that are fun. Oh, a Blastoise EX. Full art. Lots of Blastoise so far. <laughs> This would these would be great for one of my favorite games, which is Factor Opinion. <laughs> I, I do like this. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have socks that match, or socks that stand out on their own. I feel like Tim woke up this morning and chose violence. <laughs> I've never heard... Oh my god, you like your feet that much? I've never seen someone use the word pep in, in quite some time. It's been... It's a bit... That's... Because I'm like... I've always been really self-conscious about my feet. Um, so socks have always been like the best thing in my life. Because yeah. I'm like, I don't have to worry. I can just cover my feet in socks. A little, little pep in your step. <laughs> And a Blastoise EX. Wow. Tim does not have a super cute and fun outfit. <laughs> oh no. God. Bubbly. Oh no, it's just anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I don't mean to laugh. I mean, it's true. <laughs> My whole life is one super cute outfit, which is why I don't need socks to make it better. Are you sure? Are you sure? Oh, little star are you? There were some more like sneak peeks of future Pokemon cards that got released, um, but I can't remember. Uh, well, I think there was a there was a Swablu that was really cute. It was like sitting on a wall with a bunch of Gengars. It was very adorable. And then there was like the Altaria version evolution as well. Tim's backstory: He was once oh, he once was fun, just like the rest of us when he was a young boy. But then he lost his favorite pair of socks and could never replace them. <laughs> I feel like. Also, like, solid chance it was like he had one pair of socks that it was his favorite pair of socks and they were super bright and colorful and they had writing on them and he thought they were really cool and then he wore them to school and some, like, asshole made fun of him for them and he swore never to wear cool, fun socks ever again. Mm. That's, that's what I feel like the story is. Because, like, I've been there, but I decided it didn't matter. We have a Giovanni's Charisma secret art rare. Actually, toe socks do cross the line. I don't like toe socks. They, meh, mm mm-mm, no. Oh, goodness me. Tim lives in a sock society. <laughs> oh, no. I know. Magnemite, Kabuto, and Zapdos, EX. <laughs> I never said wine mum. I never said wine mum. I just love that it's bookended by wake up. Oh, and a Giovanni's charisma flood. Wake up, sheeple. <laughs> just wine mum. <laughs> Pair of socks. The wake up people to me is so funny because I just finished watching the um, cult season of American Horror Story. <laughs> But I'm just imagining if the whole plot was changed so it wasn't actually anything important that the cult was about. It was just like socks. Yeah. 
I was gonna say big knitwear, damn it, Tim. I, I tried to get one of those in there. Uh, I tell her get you. Yeah, so my mum could drink a wine if she wants to. Wine mum is fine. If you've had kids, you probably need some wine to deal with them. Like, oh. Um, although it was your choice, so big. here we are. Um, unless you're in America, in which case it might not be. Sympathy goes out. Chuma de Growls and Aerodactyl. Oh, I sorted it. I was just thinking, uh, like, I feel like when I hear wine mum, I think Disney adult, like, goes, like, hand in hand. I feel like they get outcast yeah, in a similar way. It's the pre-evolution. Yeah. yeah. Um, but Disney has banned engagements in, like, Disney parks. So you can't get engaged at Disney World anymore or Disneyland or whatever. Because um, wow. apparently it's like a huge problem for them and it's like really bad. Happiest but like place on earth. the number of photos I've seen of people getting engaged in front of like the little Disney castle, I'm like oofed, big oofed. <laughs> like I'm getting lunch. Yeah, but that's the thing, is it's so quick if you're a man, they're like, oh yeah, sure, you know what you're doing. As soon as you're a woman, you have to go through like five different people because they're like, are you sure? Are you really sure? Like, yes. If someone came to talk about it, of course they're sure. That's why they came to you, to get it done. Coughing, Tangella and Dragonite. <laughs> Imagine the big song looks like the Alaskan bullworm from Spongebob. <laughs> No! Oh my god. That's one of my like favorite <laughs> book series. Oh, there's a scene in it where um, the main character has to like fight this giant worm and it's described as, I mean, the whole, it's called the Middengard worm and it's meant to be this big like terrifying beast. And if you look at the photos of what it was meant to look like, um, it's like, I don't know, like kind of like sea serpent -y. It's got heaps of scales and spikes and it's terrifying. Um, but like in my head, I was also imagining the worm from SpongeBob. <laughs> and so they're like, ah, and she's running away.